So, big traveler, how was Disney? Oh, you're up. What do you mean I'm up? Well, I didn't see you this morning. We got in late yesterday. Then talked to you yesterday, so, uh, how was Disney? Hot. Oh. Like, you think it's hot here? And it is, it's humid here. Florida's hot, imagine that. No, it's, <laughs> Tom, this was, and I've been there before when it was hot and humid and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it was very, very crowded. And you know how I am with crowds. Oh yeah, I know that you hate crowds. Yeah, there was a convention where we stayed. Oh no. Yeah, so there what was. What sort of convention? Uh, it was, it's a company called Gartner. And that's all you saw Gartner. everywhere is around the hotel. They're a media, um, Oh, so like, kind of comp. So it was company. like a tech convention. Yeah, I Googled it to see how, you know, because I was like astonished at how many people there were. They have like 16,600 employees. Okay. They're a multi billion dollar company. And so all these dudes were in like suits, which, in, in you know, where it's hot and humid. Oh, okay. Says. So it's. Um, and they had this big giant tent. And when I say giant tent, Tom, I mean to tell you probably the length of our whole two acres of property. Wow. Like, that's how long that tent was. It was ridiculous. Um, Is and it just as wide or like? I don't know. I didn't go to it other than, no, not as wide as our property. No, no, it probably would be from like maybe the, the road to the beginning of the pavilion here. Okay. You know, um, but it was really long. Um, no, and it was just that for most part, you know how it is like with people in general, it's like you have some nice people, but you have some real a-holes. And the a-holes always, you remember them more than you do the nice people. Right, because right, usually they make less sense, so yeah. you don't really... Uh... And it was like the people that were there, there were so many people that they didn't care about anybody else that was in the hotel. It was it was like they were the only ones that mattered. Like they blocked doors, they blocked the escalator. I wanted to go up the escalator. <laughs> I had to block the escalator? Yeah, I had to move somebody out of the way so I could just go up the escalator. It was... Well, wait, was it one person or multiple people? There was like a whole semicircle around there talking. They, they totally blocked what? out. Yeah, you couldn't even fit by. And I was like, who does that? Like, I, you know, I mean, there's two, two thoughts to this. Are they just oblivious or are they just ignorant? Right, because like if, if they were there like the whole time you were walking up, then I'd lean more towards... I don't think they gave a crap. I yeah. really don't. And I, I like, and so, so the lobby was completely filled. The bar was completely full all the time. Every oh, that had to every chair in the lobby or couch was taken up there. Um, I'm I'm sure the hotel made mega bucks from from that. I'm sure of that. Oh sure. It just for like usually when you get back to the hotel after you've been to the crowded parks, that's kind of your time to like get away from everybody. And well, she said dragonfly almost took me out. I saw um, it. He was just saying hi. Uh, yeah, so, so it's like you couldn't get away from the crowd. You were coming back to the hotel and it was all crowded. So you couldn't really get away, you know? So that makes it a little tough because I get very irritable around crowds. I do, I never noticed. What? What? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> but I see that, you know, the garden does not look good, but that's not your fault because... It's been declining. It was that bad when I left. I mean, literally, the entire time you were gone, we got I was five little, seconds of rain. I was a little sad to see that, that, that cantaloupe uh, was picked um, and it was rotten was it rotten yeah so. I kind of figured the way it was turning yellow on top and yeah. the fact that the stem just fell off of it yeah which sucks because that would have been my first cantaloupe and it was rotten so and it figures because it's like before I went away it was still green so it happened in, in that fast yeah because because I remember the day that I stepped down I was like ah, oh, it's kind of yellow I wonder if that should like be turned yeah. or something stepped in and like and I went to move it, and like the rest of the vine didn't move. It's like, wait a minute. So and I, I know the stem wasn't connected. I know I came down hard on you the, the other time we went away, but it, realistically, this is like one of the worst summers ever, as far as no rain. Yeah, like, I really. Mean to, I mean to tell you, this everything's so dry. I mean, normally in July we normally get what, like, three rainstorms a week. Yeah, you usually get thunderstorms and stuff like that. We haven't gotten. Yeah, maybe like one every two weeks. It seems like every thunderstorm that ever came around went either north or south of us. It didn't didn't come over yep, here. Yeah, there's so. always the threat of it. The 
the radar was just like, oh, it, it's coming. You're going to have rain in like two hours. Yeah. Two hours later, you're going to have rain in two hours. <laughs> yeah. well, what so, do you mean? <laughs> it's nice. Now, now this coming home is now like, I need a vacation from my vacation. You know what I mean? Um, it, it was so different from going to Crisfield because Crisfield had a house to ourselves. You know, nobody else was there. Oh, sure. That was completely isolated. Yeah, and then, then I Disney get to Disney is the exact opposite of isolation. I would never, if it wasn't for mom, I would never go to Disney, I don't think. Maybe maybe once in a blue moon, but I do it for her because she loves it. No, I, I can understand that. Yeah, so I do it for her. Uh, sacrifice a lot because a lot of money and dealing with a lot of people. But she also knows how I can only be at the parks for a couple hours, and then we go back and to the hotel and or to the bar or something like that just to get away from people. Um, Give and take. It's funny because a lot of people probably think that I'm. I am outgoing, but it's like I don't like crowds. That's the only thing is crowds. Oh, one time, Tom, let me tell you this. We were on a bus. Disney transportation, I don't like taking Disney transportation. I'd rather, yeah. that's why we stay where we usually can walk to Epcot and stuff. But we had to take it because we had uh, dining reservations at the Contemporary. So we get on to this bus and it's standing room only. Oh no. Oh yeah, so I'm standing, but I found a good spot. It was next to the door, the double doors towards the back. Okay, like the side. Yeah, door, so yeah. so me and your mom were standing there and it was fine. But then we stopped at another stop uh, to pick up people and there was another handicapped person that had to come on there, right? So you had to get out of the way. I had to get off the bus. Oh. Uh, yeah, I had to get off the bus. Me and the, and a couple other people had to go to the bus and, and get off the bus and then he parked there and that was no big deal But when I got back on now, there's even more people. I didn't have room Mm-hmm. So it was like then all of a sudden I'm like this in there and I'm claustrophobic So I don't like it like I want to start just like whacking people um, But luckily because I was near the door still I was okay Mm-hmm because I don't, I didn't feel as claustrophobic. And I was talking to this other woman that was on there, and she happened to be claustrophobic also. Ah, that's so, fine. So yeah, it was, it was kind of, you know, I had a, a, a somebody that was also going through a miserable experience yeah. with the exact same thing. But uh, that's what I don't like about Disney. And us usually this time of year, that doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Right, but they haven't scheduled a convention, which certainly doesn't help. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how'd everything go? How, uh, how about your party? How'd that go? Uh, party went well. Because I didn't see, like, I was expecting some kind of mess, and I didn't see a mess. Yeah, I bet you were, weren't you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, did you guys use the pool? We did. Because I, I noticed that, like, none of the, all the rafts are back over there and everything, so you guys, you, you, you cleaned up properly. I mean, there is some stuff that I still had to clean up the morning after, that's, you know, expected, but... I didn't see anything damaged. Nothing was damaged, nothing was attached to the thermostat. I just got done changing the water in the hot tub, because it was due. Oh, that's good, considering we did use it. What? I told you nobody's to use the hot tub. Yeah, but I figured you had to, it was about time for you to change the water anyway, and I was right. Well, it doesn't bother me because I did change the water. In exactly. There. And uh, it would have bothered me if it wasn't time for me to change the water, though. Oh, sure, if it wasn't, then I would have been... What was it? How many people did you have in a hot tub? Um, like... Six. There were six people in my hot tub? Yeah. God, I am glad. I had to make sure the water didn't get down too low. What? Well, yeah, as many people in the hot tub, it displaces a lot of the water, so I made sure that the water didn't get down too low. Did water go over the top? Some, yeah. Oh, my lord. It didn't go below the thing that it's not supposed to go below. It's fine. You already replaced the water anyway. Everything's good. Yeah, it's not a big deal because I had, like I said, I had to replace that. That's what I was doing earlier today. I cleaned it all out and and filled it back up. It's already, it's already going now. Exactly. Now I just got to wait for it to warm up. But I really don't care about that because I'm not going in the hot tub anytime soon because it's hot. Also true. It's too hot in the hot tub. That it is. Uh, besides that, uh, everybody loved the ribs that I made, including oh, Joe. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask you how they turn out. Uh, they actually turned out really, really good. Like, making the rub and the, uh, sauce for it, like... Honestly, I, either I've forgotten, or that sauce that I made is comparable to Sweet BB Ray's. Really? Yeah. Is it's there, that good. Is there any left for me to, to try, or what? Well, there would have been if, uh, Joe hadn't eaten some of it. What do you mean, Joe ate some? Like, you don't you know. You invited Joe to your party? <laughs> no, I did not. 
He crashed my party. He crashed here. What do you mean he crashed here? I mean, he showed up here because apparently you had told him to go check up on me. So he brought, like, some stuff over and was just like, oh, you know. Oh, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Although, back up a minute. Joe came here and you're saying, uh, apparently me. Apparently me what? Joe's words, you told him to come over and check up on me like I'm 13 years old staying home alone for the first time. I didn't tell Joe to come over and check on you. And I certainly didn't mean for him to show up here. I might have said to him, was like, you know, you know, hit Tom up and see if everything's okay or be available if Tom needs a hand. Uh-huh. Well, he's not even the only one because he had told me that Uncle, Uncle Jeff and Aunt Terry were supposed to come here and check up. What? And they were here. Hold it. Yeah, he said that it, it was because of the party that I threw last year and the mess that I made, which wasn't that much of a mess. Apparently, you've forgotten that. I didn't tell him that, Tom. Stop saying that I said that. I didn't tell him that. Oh, I'm, I'm saying exactly what he told me. Tom, I swear to God, I did not tell Joe to stop by here at all. I might have told him, like, you know, check up on Tom, but I didn't mean stop by here. Well, apparently he took it that way because he was here And it certainly wasn't day. because of your party or anything. I wasn't worried about that. I knew that you would clean up or be responsible for whatever. That's not how he made it sound. Aunt Terry and Uncle Jeff stopped here, too? Yeah, apparently to also check up on me because of the party, like I said. Make sure Brody. I didn't make a big mess. They told you that. That's what Joe told me. I didn't actually talk to them. Joe, there's no way that they stopped by here because of the party. I didn't even tell them them that you were even having a party, Tom. I never said that to them. I didn't. Matter of fact, I told you that if you needed any uh, help or anything with anything with the house or anything went wrong or anything, to contact Aunt Terry and Uncle Jeff. Right, which I did keep in mind, but I never contacted Why them. Why wouldn't I tell you that they were going to stop by if I, I knew that they were going to stop by? You know, it is possible that maybe they You just... do have this habit of not trusting me with stuff. All right, Tom. I'm not going to say it again. I did not tell anybody to stop by here, all right? And let me tell you another thing. Aunt Terry and Uncle Jeff might have just stopped by just to check on you on their own, Tom, because of everything that's been going on with you, you know, with your physical... I mean, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, I mean, especially because they, I know that she's been waiting to hear for, you know, the diagnosis, to, or whatever you call it, uh, diagnosis, yeah, for your, your test results to come back. For that, yeah. And I know that she was waiting for that, so maybe that's why she stopped by, to make sure that everything was okay. I mean, that could be. Is that how Joe made it sound? Well, maybe Joe just stopped by for that, too. That doesn't Everybody's explain. been worried about you. I mean, that's fair enough, but that doesn't explain why Joe had to show up every day, eat food like like the pickles. He's he came over every day? Dirty little yeah. What? He dug into the pickles jar. Well, that's disgusting. Oh, Amazon's here. Oh, yeah. He went into... Yeah, he, he dug into the pickle jar. But he jar. always goes in the pickle jar, Tom. I mean, that's... Yeah, but he did that after using the bathroom outside, and I'm pretty sure he didn't wash his hands. So, what? you know. Oh, my God. Alright, so he came over and checked on you every day, alright? That Crashed had nothing. party, ate food that was not really set out for him. He stole Matt's ribs, made several people at the party uncomfortable. Uh, let's see. Drank some of your beer. He drank my beer. Oh, He's yeah. I have Miller Lite in the refrigerator. He drank mine? Uh, he had Miller Lite and there was a Corona. I don't know if he drank any more than that. I didn't take stock of what you had in there. Well, after the party, I should say. Well, why did you let him in the house? Why didn't you just say... Why, why didn't you text me? Because he, he, he said that it was from you anyway. So I figured, okay, you already know about it. What am I supposed to do? Not go away? I don't, I, I just don't understand why he came over here. <laughs> I don't either. I'll have to find out from him why he's... I mean, Tom, I did not tell him to come over here every day and check on you. I may have said, you know, check on Tom, 
but I didn't mean come over here. I may have said that. I don't really remember. Well, whatever was said, whatever I've heard, something's weird. Hmm. But as far as Aunt Terry and Uncle Jeff's concerned, I really believe that. I know that she asked me almost every day to Tom get his test results back. Right, and, that, so, so and that's, that's fine. possibly what she stopped by for. Right, that's not what Joe said they stopped by for, but it's possible that that is why. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a talk with him. <laughs>